Hi. If you need to get out of your head, this is your practice for today. Um, and maybe you want to move on to something else, but this is going to give you a very good start. It's a little bit more fast-paced uh, to get you out of your head, right? If you love headstand even more so, give this a go. Um, I hope I can help you to recenter and get a grip on reality <laughs> or some perspective. Come and join me. Let's get right into it. Close your eyes for one minute. Just find um, find the words, really. What do I need? And if there is not one thing right away popping up in your mind that tells you something like center, focus, whatever, like what, what do you need, right? trust anything if there's nothing like that I'm going to suggest you to just try and forget everything for 20 minutes and focus on your breath if there is a word however coming up you're welcome to just keep it as a mantra for your practice and just keep repeating it in your mind you know Let's just start and get out of our heads. Stretch up. Let's see. Inhale, chest up. Good. Okay, first one, right leg back. Just push your heel back. We're going to try and not go too slow today. A little bit balancing, right? Keep your chest forward, shoulders away from your ears. Lower down. Lift the chest. We're just gonna try and warm up quickly. Push back out the Mukha Svanasana. Breathe. Lengthen the spine away from the floor. Feel this half an, <clears throat> of an inversion that it is. You know, stretch your hamstrings, the back of your body. Inhale, right leg forward. Lift the chest. <laughs> Head to your knees in here. Up. And exhale. Come forward. Interlace your fingers. Hands down. Lift up. Exhale. Left foot. Push the heel back. Breathe. Stay. Let's try not to focus too much on anything else but getting out of the head. Right? Out of your mind. Mental monkey chatter. Lift and exhale, push. So it's your breath that can really facilitate that for you, you know. Lengthen away from the floor, relax the neck. Inhale, jump. Oopsie. Lift and exhale. We didn't stretch the other side. I'll do it still. Lift and lower down. One more time, stretch up, exhale, inhale, lift, wonderful, if you can, jump or step, lower, stay, belly in, lift, and push back, beautiful, stay, wonderful, doing great, relax your neck, just feel the length, two breaths, the length of the back of your body, the skin stretching. Good. And then we're going left leg forward because we skipped it just now. <laughs> Keep breathing. Right foot forward, stretch. Exhale. Let's stretch up. And arms down. Okay, we're just going to do... A little bit more unconventional sun salutation I like to do when my wrist is hurt a lot. Kick forward, keep breathing. So make sure stability in the core, right? And then slowly 
Bring the leg back. Elbows up, chest forward, breathe. Get out of your head. Just concentrate on this very movement. Right foot steps back. The contact of your body towards the floor. Lift. Now you can bring your hands on the thigh. If you like, lower with the inhale and exhale, straighten your leg. Inhale, lower, exhale, straighten. If this is a morning for you, this might be a little intense. <laughs> right? And then lower your leg. Stretch up once. We don't have to go in the big back bend. You can if you like. And then exhale, push back. Pull back, I should say. Belly in to your spine, chest up and forward, arms forward. Relax your neck. Breathe. Nice. All right. Come up with the right foot and knee up. Cross your legs. Lift. Exhale. Lower. Lift. Exhale. Lower. Lift. And cross one more time without your hands if you can. Beautiful. Left leg. Kick. Belly in. Chest up. Breathe. You can do this. Try and lock the right knee, meaning pulling the kneecap up. Slowly bring the leg back. Chest forward. Focus one spot. Elbows up. Try not to touch your belly to your thigh. So lift away from the thigh and then step back into the lunge. Breathe. Chest up. All right, this is just a warm up. Bend, exhale, straighten. Inhale, bend, exhale, straighten. One more time. Maybe you're a little lower. Touch the ground if you can. Stretch the chest. And exhale, pull back. Hands forward. So if you're not here, totally fine to stay here, right? Wherever you are. Good. Come forward again. Pull the knee up. And cross the legs, lower down, lift, touch the toes, exhale, touch them, exhale one more time, touch them, good, cross, lift, beautiful, let's one more time, stretch a little bit deeper into some salutation, jumbo step, lower, lift, just try to focus on the movement on your breath, right leg up, open up to the side, stretch up one more time, exhale, come forward, stretch into warrior one, exhale, lower down, if you're more advanced you can lift the leg while you go down, push back, left leg up, open, you can do this. And straighten, one more time, come forward, lift, it's just all breathing exercise, any asana, <laughs> push back, wonderful, very nice, and then stretch up one more time, we're just going to go another round, come forward, lift, stretch, make the lower, Push, lift, open up, relax the neck, come forward, beautiful, stretch, and lower again, nice, okay, push back, very nice, so walk a little bit, just one step closer, and then bring your left hand back onto your anchor, bring your right Big toe behind your foot and push your right hand into the floor. And just lift up a tiny bit. Maybe you can lift up higher. So one safe method to get out of your head is to concentrate on balancing. <laughs> lift up your right leg more. That's why I love inversions. Just it doesn't leave any other focus anymore, you know. Cheddar monkey is going to be quiet. Bring the right foot back down. Beautiful. 
<laughs> Come forward. Knees, chest and chin. Lift. And push back. All right, other side. So step just one foot closer again. Grab the right ankle. Lift slowly. You start with a little bit and then you extend to the sky. Keep the right shoulder away from your ear. Push the left hand down and breathe. And lift more. Extend your leg from the hip and then lower it back down. That's wonderful. Right hand down and come forward again. Chest chin. And lift. Push back. Very nice. Inhale, jump or step forward. Lift your chest, exhale, lower down. So let's try and do a little bit forward bending. Grab your elbows in a squat position behind your legs, right? And then exhale, stretch down. And try and pull your elbows towards your heels. Shoulders away from your ears. Lengthen down and just breathe into the back of your calves your hamstrings, your gluteus. Grab the floor with your toes, more weight into your toes, shoulders away from your ears, pull from the core, touch the belly to your thighs. Change, very nice. Bend the knees and stay like this for Utkatasana. Bring your knees together, stretch up. Very nice. And then let's bring the left elbow on the outside of your right. Thigh, shoulder away from your ear. Try and level your knees. So both in one line, right? Mostly they shift. Inhale, stretch up. And exhale, belly in, other side. So the right A, elbow on the outside of your left thigh. Left shoulder away from your ears, belly to your spine. Keep breathing. Keep enjoying. <laughs> Smiling helps a lot with a lot of things. Stretch up and exhale, down. Wonderful. One more time, chest up, hands down. Jump or step, lower, lift. One more warrior, left. In, right forward, stretch. Exhale, lift the leg. Why do you lower down? Left, bring it forward, stretch, lower, and lift, push back, very nice, bring your elbows down, lift the right leg, breathe and stay. Now, why don't you interlace your fingers, push your elbows down. You've probably seen this in the upper body strength drill. We're not doing that now. I'm just going to bring the head down. I'm going to use the momentum. Keep stretching the right leg up and lift the left. It's not my preferred way to go into headstand, but in this tiny class, we can just use our body weight for a little bit. Keep breathing. Feel the floor on top of your head. And then the right leg is coming back down. Mm -hmm. Push your elbows into the ground and lift your head away from the ground again. And then lower your left foot, bring your knees down, chest and chin, open your hands, chest and chin, lift, ah, oh, so good, and push back, very nice, one more time, jump forward, lift your head, exhale, <laughs> all right, let's just stay here for a moment, bring your hands down, I'm just scooping for your visibility. Make sure you have space to the right and left, otherwise we're gonna 
you can turn to the side, okay? So, oh, let me just turn to the side. We can all turn to the side. Turn to the screen and bring or <laughs> however you're going to do it. Bring your hands to the one side of the mat and the, other, um, the feet to the other side of the mat. Push your hands down, belly in, and then lift your right leg to the side. It should be just above your mat, not back, not forward, nothing else, nothing weird. Flex your foot and keep pushing your arms, hands down. Tight thigh. Lower down. Beautiful. Left leg. Let's just keep breathing into the contact with the floor. Locking the right knee. So meaning the kneecap up, not pushing back the leg. Nobody needs that. Belly in. You can do this. Wonderful. Okay. Let's turn back to the front of the mat because now we're going to connect it. Bring your hands down one more time. You're going to grab the big toe with the right hand, push the left hand in and lift your right leg to the outside. Lift your chest, breathe. And then slowly lower down, but don't touch the floor. And left hand to the hip, lift up your leg. Now if that's too hard on your hamstring, of course you can bend your knee, you know. Don't push it, just a little, just a little bit. Heel forward, lift your chest, wonderful. And then bring it to the side. Keep breathing, chest up. Maybe, just maybe, you can let go of it and just hold it like this, you know, whichever way. Hand on the hip, hand to the side. And then let's bring it forward again. Ladies, now you're gonna let go of the grip. Keep it up, you can do it, because we just did it before. <laughs> Come back with the foot, lift your chest, arms in front of your chest and out and up. Breathe, lift, wonderful. And let's do a balancing standing split version. You don't have to be in split for this, just keep stretching up. Just stretch up, grab your ankle if you are already in a split position. If not, just push your hands down, right? And just push. You can try, if the handstand is in your practice, just to lift from here. You can lift up or you can do the standing split. Any, any variation, right? And then bring your right foot down. And let's squat for a second. Exhale. Touch your forehead on your knee. Inhale, chest up. Good. Let's do the other side. Left hand grabbing the big toe. Ready? Push the right hand down underneath your shoulder, kind of. Right foot down, left leg out. Lift and breathe. Lock your right knee without pushing it back. Bring your shoulders away from your ears without cramping your neck. Just, you know, smile. Get out of your head. Breathe. Don't take everything too serious. Even if there is like serious matters, you know. There is an approach of lightness in everything. It's just, it's really hard to see sometimes. But you can try, right? Okay, lower down, don't touch the floor, and lift it up all the way. Bam, chest up, left shoulder back, breathe. Keep the chest up, come on, lock the knee. You can do this. Lift it up a little higher, and then to the side. Awesome. Let's find your balance. Focus one spot and breathe. If you want to, try and let go of it. Both arms to both sides, keep breathing. And then come forward, latest now you let go. Breathe, chest up. Two more breaths. Yes, and back. Lift your leg, hands in front of your chest and out and up, right? 
not so easy to, <laughs> to keep the balance. Keep your chest um, first down, then up and forward, right? So it's like a back bend, arms up, lift the left leg. Keep a strong right leg. You can do this and then lower your hands. Wonderful. So we're just going left leg up, lengthen. If you are already close to a split position, you can grab your anchor and just try and pull stomach to the thigh, lengthen to your foot, you know? If not, keep pushing into the ground and just try and leverage the weight forward. If you have a handstand practice, you're welcome to like try and lift from here. Just through lifting action and then slowly lower back down. Beautiful, okay. <laughs> Squat one more time. Touch your forehead on your knees. Lift the chest. And jump back into Adho Mukha Svanasana. Okay, let's do a different headstand. We're going <coughs> down on the knees and bring the head down on the floor and your arms straight next to your um, legs, right? Now you're going to turn your palm up. Push the back of your hand against the floor and pull the shoulders away from the floor at the same time. So that's an extension, but also um, active shoulders, right? So then you're gonna just straighten the legs, walk your tippy toes before, a little bit forward until the weight is tipping, and then just lift up, keep breathing. You're amazing. Just, uh, you just need to see it. You know, each and every one of us is really talented in at least one thing. And to find that <laughs> one thing that is what we call in yoga, dharma. Find your dharma, slowly lower down. And then to connect it with how to serve humanity, that is how it'll end up being bliss. But on that way, we tend to struggle. Come back into downward facing dog, inhale, come forward. Beautiful. And slowly lower down, lift the chest. Very nice, push back. You did great, all right. Let's um, just bring the right leg forward or the left leg, whichever um, side you want to turn. Push the hips a little bit forward. Hands on the hips. Lift the chest. Exhale. Slowly come forward and down. One more time. Lift away from the sitting bones and then slowly bring your body down. Now let's do a tripod just for fun. Bring your hands back. This is all under the umbrella of, um, <laughs> of getting out of your head, right? So fingers forward or fingers back on fingertips, whichever you like. It's all possible. Important is if you don't know how to do this, you might want to check out the tutorial. No problem. Shoulders away from your ears. You can also just go for a normal headstand here. If this is complicated, keep breathing. So beautiful to do inversions on a day of chaos, right? And then also always beautiful to do inversions. <laughs> you want to connect it to in arm balance. You can bring your right leg in and on top of your arm, bring your left elbow in. Uh, that is if you had your hands um, and fingers back, but you can probably do it outward too, and lift into chin stand if that is in your practice. If not, just come down. Just come down like this. Very nice. Let's do the other side. 
back into headstand tripod. If you want to adjust your fingers, that's wonderful. Go ahead, keep breathing. Lift the shoulders away from your ears. Don't forget your focus, right? And I bring the left leg, knee in onto your triceps, close to the armpit. Right elbow in. Try not to touch the ground when you come down. It's really not so easy. Back into a chin. And just lower down like this or back into straddle if you like. If that is too hard to go back through Kundinyasana. Exhale, lengthen down. Let's do one more. Uh, just stretching. Okay, grab the ankles. Breathe. Roll more forward into your toes. Lengthen. Wonderful. Left hand down, right arm up. Just, uh, just stretch the shoulder a little bit. Beautiful. Maybe you want to grab your left thigh from the inside. Lift the right shoulder back. Other side. Push the right hand, left arm up. Yay. Doesn't the day already look so much better now? Left <laughs> shoulder back, grab the right thigh. Keep breathing. You're doing amazing. All right. Let's do one more version of headstand just because of uh, the fun of it. Bring your feet together and down. Maybe we can do one half a camera before. Oh, let's just not do that. Let's bring the right leg out. <laughs> My hip is popping. I hope yours is too. It's great. <laughs> bring your right arm, left arm up. So like a T, lift the chest, turn the right palm up and then stretch it over your right leg and stretch over, 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 eventually touching both palms together, right? And then lifting back up and then exhale, lower down and lift, push the hip all the way forward and exhale, let's do that three times. And then bring the left hand down and stretch your right arm over. And just all the way, stretch, stretch, stretch. Good. And then bring your right hand down. Beautiful. Let's do the other side before we do the last headstand. Arms out, left hand out. And back of the hand sliding down towards the ankle. Just breathe, extend. It's not important how far you get. In this posture, important to feel the stretch on the right side and the psoas and the, and the whole waist. Right? To feel your breath. And then let's lower down. Exhale, really lengthen the whole table forward. So you're just using your core in this one. Let's do one more. One more. <laughs> All right, and then bring your right hand down. Stretch the left arm up and stretch the left side. So good. And left hand down and forward. Wonderful. Okay. So easy one. Easy one is this one. You can choose. I'm gonna give you two options. You can do this one. And you're gonna bring your head down. And you just grab your hands like this. It's like in the other, only your hands are uh, staying forward, but the rest is the same, you know, distance, everything the same. You can go like this, or if you want to try <laughs> something else, you can do a different headstand. So you're going to start same way as usual. You're going to bring your hands onto your trapezius, just like that, like you would grab your shoulders. So your elbows should be not slippery at this moment. Then. Again, it's just bringing the weight forward with uh, walking your feet closer and then lifting up. The, um, the most headstand variations are just hard to get into. They're, <laughs> they're usually not hard to stand in because 
eventually the head is the same, right? It should be. <laughs> All right. Two more breaths. Just relax your mind. Feel the challenge of the balance. Find yourself, your center. Change, beautiful. All right, bring your knees down and your arms down. Wonderful. I want to, we're gonna, we're gonna do one more twist and then we're good to go. So bring your right foot so the right leg is in. Foot of a jar, so now bring your right, uh, left foot, sorry, <laughs> all the way into half lotus. If this is not happening for you, no problem. Just bring it underneath. That's the first vari variation. This is the second variation. So bring your right hand underneath your left knee, the palm down. Lifting the chest and twisting back. You can do it like this or you can try and grab the foot, right? Lift your chest and exhale, twist back. Lift your chest and exhale, twist back. One more time, you can do it. Lift and really try and feel right soles, left soles, left shoulder pull down, chest pull up. Look back, change. Wonderful. Other side. And that would be bringing the left foot in and back, just here touching the hip and the right foot up. If you ever have, um, or underneath, right? That, that's under the ch shin for those who have trouble with the knee or the hip. If you ever ha have a bad knee day, you can always like also opt for like a half position like this. But then maybe just bring it under the chin. Ah, shin. Under the chin would be also interesting. Left hand down. So you have the palm down and the back of the hand up, right? Okay. Lift the chest. Let's concentrate with the focus that we had before. Whatever you had. If it was focus, wonderful. <laughs> Lift. And exhale. Twist back. One more time, you try and feel the contact to the floor, lift up, and just stretch away from the floor, twist back. One more time, just look back over your right shoulder, inhale, chest up, and exhale, twist, and twist, and twist. Change. Amazing work. Let's just lie down. Slowly. Very beautiful. I'm just going to do a tiny, tiniest, tiny shoulder stand. <laughs> I think they go together. Head and shoulder stand. Bring your legs over your head. Arms straight position if you can. Otherwise, just bring your hands into the back. Lift your legs. Try and lift up straight from the shoulder to your toes feet should be above your shoulders your neck should not be under any stress the back of the head should be pushing down the shoulders should be pushing down if your arms are down and straight then also your hands are pushing down it's triceps right if you're in this position with the hands in the back it will be the Upper arm and elbow, maybe, right? Keep breathing. Just stretch your legs apart into straddle. One more time, bring your hands onto your thighs, arms straight. Try and balance on your shoulders. No stress in the neck. Neck is not touching the floor if you do this correctly. Breathe. Beautiful. And then lower your legs into Supta Konasana. Grabbing your feet. Bringing the instep of your foot to the floor. Belly in. Bringing your feet together. Halasana. 
shoulders wiggle together. Enjoy the stretch. <laughs> Bringing your knees next to yours. And then slowly roll back down. One vertebra by vertebra. Relax on the floor. No more movement, arms to the sides. Breathe. Less. There's this moment between every inhale and every exhale that that is just you. When I do breathing exercises and I uh, do breath holes on the inhale or exhale, it feels to me just like time froze, standing still, absolute space. But truth is, when we're not doing a breathing exercise, we still have these tiny moments. Just between every thought, there is such a moment. And if we, if we make it to realize that in a stressy situation or in a situation where we feel overwhelmed, and come back to that place where this quiet existence is, where there is no thought. And we try and learn to lengthen this moment. That is when we, when, when we understood yoga or when we master our life. It goes together. Just next time you're overwhelmed, maybe do a headstand and maybe find that spot. Come back to that place again where there is this space. It's always there, right? It's always just with you. Just we don't give it any room. Thank you so much. It was so much fun. Thanks for joining. I hope you could um, recenter. I see you next time. Thank you. <laughs>